Hi everyone, just uh, heading down the river. Uh, I'm going to walk about look. it's hard to see. I see a mile. It's not a mile but it's not far off it. Down the river. And then I'm going to work my way back up. So and it's a lovely day. I mean could be brighter but it's actually there's very little wind which is great if you want to fish certainly dry fly. But uh, there is a breeze coming towards us. So if, if it's coming towards us uh, it's most a southerly tight wind. You can actually see some hawthorn there. I don't know if you can see them in front of me. Quite a few hawthorn. Uh, granum. That's before even on the, on the river. I'll try and catch one of these. Well, there we go. I can show you the Hawthorne. There we go. Ooh. Anyway, there's quite a few of them actually. So, but you need a wind with them. <laughs> you need the wind to blow them on the river because they are terrestrial. You don't hatch in the river or you just get blown on because they're so big. And if it's windy, uh, they do get blown into the water and the fish will take them. And you see there's quite a few along that, that hedgerow there. Well, there's the river, folks. It's a wee bit of colour on it for some reason. Uh, or is it just me? No, I think it's just me. I'm going to cross over the shallow end here. Hi everyone. Now, a lot of people ask me about the setup. Now it's quite simple really. Uh, I buy tapered leaders. Obviously this one here is from Fooling Mill. This one's down to three pound, a tip of three pound, or six x. So basically what I do is this is a is this nine foot, or so this is a twelve foot version. So basically I'll tie a fly on this until it gets much shorter and shorter, and then I'll add on a tip it. Now I'm using the 9 foot one, I just picked this out just to give you uh, an idea of what they look like and the tippet I use, at, at the moment I'm using a 2.5 tippet because uh, there's big flies around, it's, the conditions, I mean it's still, still uh, early season even though we're what, the 2nd of May uh, I mean, there's a bigger fly, like I'm using one of our CADIS, early CADIS patterns, but I'm using, I'm trying this one. Uh, this is a Dynamite Harry version of the Granum. Uh, it's the first time I'm going to give it a go, see what it's like. And because uh, I've caught in the cinnamon version, it works really well. There's one or two fish rising here, so I'm going to be giving them a go. Now, to basically, what I do is I degrease the leader once I put it on, give it a stretch. I just use fuller's earth. This, this tub, I don't know how old this tub is. You just basically, on your finger, rub it on, degreases your leader. And then obviously, my dry fly, I usually, I use the muslin. Uh, you can use the red tub or the green tub, they both work. It's a silicon that just works really well. And apply it, and then I'm ready to go. But I put the float it on last. Uh, I don't degree, I degrease first. But you can go either way, it's up to yourself. The uh, leader length, obviously, this is a 9 foot tapered leader, and I've added another around about 4 feet on it. Now, the fish I've been watching while I've been setting up is the horizon over here. Now, I'm fishing my cadence 9 foot with the 4 weight line, the cadence line. A lot of people are asking about this line uh, since the uh, last time I used it. Just looking at my leader. I always like to wash it first, once I've 
degrees it. So just below me, I'm just gonna run it through just to get it wet. You can see the fish, they're rising, that one, there's a couple of nice fish rising there. Yeah, I don't know if you can actually see, but you'll see the gran, there's well, thousands of them. <laughs> and they're going up and down the river. Mainly at this point they're going up. Put that fish up again. So I'm going to try this, this up again. I don't think we should be... I don't think we'll not see any fish rise today, we've seen... I walked a good 20 minutes down the water and, uh, and I'm going to work my way back up. The fly's sitting nice. So, first off, I usually start short. Now, the wind's actually ideal because it's actually blowing upstream or up the river, which is turning the leader over perfectly. And uh, the wind does help at times. And if I, I don't need to wade the other day. It sometimes pays to get close to a fish. It turns out that's right on the, where the fish rose. Nothing. Just let it drift away from where the fish are rising or moving. And then bring it in. This ripple on the water where the wind is will give us a bit of cover as well, which is ideal. It flies just coming down nice, it's very natural like. Uh, so we'll soon find out if it's any good. I mean there is the relid uh, olive and coming down the water as well. So and it's up again, there's the, that one's just slightly further down. Now yeah, I'll give it, let my fly drift by first before I cast it. And there could be fish anywhere. Um, I know where fish normally rise in this, this pool, so it's obviously worth casting into these areas. Especially close to it, there's a night, oh that's a nice fish. That looked like a nice rise. So, I'll try for this one. What I forget, I see a couple of flies on the water there. Brown there can down the river. See there's still plenty of duns on the river, there's plenty of hatches as well, so as well as the granum. I mean the granum have hatched basically, they're just breeding as I say at the moment. Uh, it's not exactly on the on the river. A wee fish just throws up up here. We'll see if we can. So the fish will drift in. Oh, jeez! Took me. <laughs> I know. Too busy talking. See, the fish can drift. They'll come in quite close. So you've got to be careful with that as well. Um, especially with the way the wind's blowing. They'll naturally go where the fish are, where the fly are getting blown. I 
wind's picked up. It was hardly a wind when I left. There's a bit more wind down here than the... If it gets too windy, it, we can always go up where it's a bit more sheltered. I mean, you just have to get around a bend and it's a totally different... Over there. It's worth skating these flies as well, because the caddis do it's kind of skate a bit or well, bounce on the surface, really. Uh, especially when they're hatching. There's hardly a wind when I come down now, there's a, a good wind down the river. Mm. There's another one coming up, we were first started but I'll see if I can try and rise this fish. Oh, was, see how close that fish was, it was really, really, really close. There's that fish up again up there. I just walked to it, seen a, I know where it rose. Keep an eye on it. Oop. A stone. A bit further in it. What well, I'm actually going to do, there's a big dun coming down, a big march, it looks like a march brown coming down, just here. It's near the area where that fish rose, it's ignored it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast slightly further up, not very well. I'm just going to tweak my fly back because sometimes that can catch their attention. Uh, especially with caddis. But then, can I stop just before them? So I'm going to just tweak it. Just not coming up enough. Anyway, we'll just keep plodding away. We'll, we'll give this a wee while. Uh, give it another 10 minutes or so. And then we're going to don it up. I know around the bend here it'll be a bit quieter, I mean wind-wise. Uh, just to, oh, run that fish up again. So. I'm tempted to change to a, a March Brown or an Olive. See if they take it. Okay, now I've ch changed to the March Brown and the Dynamite Harry. So let's see if that makes a difference. I've changed, so if I can get a fish to move to the Dun, uh, we'll soon find out. Oh, there's a lot of granum getting blown by. They say they're on the air, not in the water, so... So there's not a lot of water, there's not a lot of fly on the water, so... We'll see how the day goes, hopefully we should get... Oh! Missed them! Oh, what the... Then we go a take straight away, so that was a nice fish as well. I never jagged it. 
I was too busy fiddling with my line at the point that it took, so we'll see if he'll come back. I heard a fish rising close to the trees over there, so there that a go. It's a fair wind that's blowing. It's like, well, there's that fish up again down here. I'll get down to him see where I've set up this. This is, so that's twice he's rose. It's a good fish, I think, that. Right on top of them. It's just on the very edge of the Down a wee bit. The way the wind's blowing, you're better. It's coming up the river. So I'm going to drop below it. I prefer to cast up to a fish that's rising anyway, so. But it's easier. Cast a wee bit further up. Basically, so it's got plenty of time to see the fly come towards it. If it'd come up again, I've got a better idea where exactly it's sitting. Um, he's only up that once when I'm above. So I'm going to try and should be far away from where I am, like. Uh, I think we'll go up the way. Uh, cast over there. Now it's, it's been an hour since I started walking when I left the car. I fished for half an hour anyway. I've rose two fish and missed both of them. And there's, I'm just starting to work my way slowly back up. Just looking. Just, I mean, I could hang about here. This can be a good bit of times. Some lovely fish in this area. Um, but I haven't seen a fish rise in this bit at all. So I'm going to work my way up to the nice stream up here, nice run. Uh, just take my time. A second. If the hatch does really come on, I can always wander back down. It's just a, it's a, it's a wee bit early, it's still early um, in the day, so I could fish some wets, even a nymph or two, but I want to fish the dry at this point. But they say, if you want to catch fish, you have to. Be willing to fish all methods, which I am. I'm quite happy to do that. I do prefer dry, obviously. But who doesn't fish like fishing dries? Just nothing yet. Keep looking.
Now I've just worked myself right way up to this is a, a nice pool. It's a very good pool fishing for it's very good for the grayling. Uh catch a lot of grayling in this pool. Um, but they're this time of year they're a bit quiet in the breeding. So I just keep it out of the way of them a wee bit. But there's even though there's plenty, as I say, grayling, eh, sorry, granum flying around, there's the odd olive coming down. Nothing, not really seeing any fish moving. So I may have to make them down with some weights or something just to see how we get on. Or even piggyback a dry. Or a, sorry, a nymph or a weight off the back of the dry. I think I'll do that because, as I say, it's really quiet. So, so what I've got is a, I've got the March Brown. Oh, and I'm just going to the bend of the hook, I'll put a, a nymph, with a, an olive nymph or a March Brown nymph, something like that, here's here, which would suit what's coming off. And basically all I do is blood knot it to it. Should have a cast already made up. I'm gonna fish the nymph has got no weight in it, it's just Stay quite close to the surface. You see, all I do is tie it to the bend of the hook, just for a blood knot. So the net, the flies, the dry fly still works. Still can catch on both. It's just a quick way of doing it. You could make a dropper. If you don't like doing it this way. I would say you'd probably hook more on the dropper, meaning on the dry anyway if it's on a dropper. So I actually say the top blood knot. So we're about our nymph just a couple of feet below and we're ready to go. Now all I do is just fish the dry like I would normally uh, if I was casting to a rising fish, though I've not seen any. And just let the fish, or the dry fly, drift round natural with the, the nymph off the bend. So using that like a well, basically an indicator, if you want to call it that. But as well as I'm using the, the dry will work. Catch on both. So I'm just going to fish quite close. And then into the main run as well. And then just going to work my way up. So maybe I tried the nymph down the bottom end. But I knew there was fish moving there. Just fishing right along the middle here, on the edge of the it's a great place to, to fish to lie.
Sorry, cast the low here. Gosh, still not seeing any fish moving. Not seeing a fish rise until since I come up. Every so often, just give you a flyer, quick check, make sure everything's fine. Make sure you're fishing. Everything's okay. As I say, this is the River Ayr. It's a great river for uh, trout. It's a, it's a good all round type river. It's, it's got trout, grayling. Uh, well, we used to have sea trout, but we don't see so many sea trout now. Obviously, get the salmon. And uh, so it's a, it's a good wee water. It's, It does get some good fly life in it at times. Well, folks have worked their way up slowly and fished the nymph in the dry. I've not seen a single fish move since the bottom. Uh, It's just nothing much happening at all. It's early yet, like, it's still early. But you would think with all the fly life, I mean, there's everything on the flying about, trying to fly about the place. And uh, no fish rising. Well folks, I'm going to work my way up, I'm just going to finish here and go up into the, the slacker water above and uh, see how we go on. Very quiet down this end, even though there's, you can see there's millions of flies about, well, obviously flying or not on the river. And uh, so see the granum hatch is well on, it's just breeding now and uh, once they start to lay their eggs the fish do go into them a bit more because they're more likely to get them but we'll go up the river and we'll see what's happening Ah, well, a couple of trout or a couple of fish rose there, but they could be a wee par. Anyway, we'll give them, we'll see, watch them for a bit. Par over there, I see a small fish. 
And anyway, we're going to fish this dry just now and see how we, how we go. Before I start, there's a to show you the marks brown. There we go. That's uh, Mr. Max Brown there. Lovely big fly. So you can see that hopefully. Just hatched. Hopefully there's more of them. And we'll get the other fish coming up. The uh, fish I've seen rising are just the other side there, but I'll just... I think they're just maybe small fish. You'll see there's this run in the middle here which is going to draw a fly through quite quick. So I'm going to try and come over that a wee bit. Mm, could be a wee brownie that. Just leaf fish, maybe we'll see. Uh, a wee par. It's probably uh, fishing wet flies. If I'm going to be fishing with a wee par, I'll just go crazy for them. Another uh, wee par. I'm not sure about that one, that looks a bit bigger. I don't know if that was a. There we go. I guess it is a wee brown tree, I think this. Yeah, it's a wee brownie. I could see it rising different uh, from the bar. Just make your hands. Oh, the fish to settle and the fly, there you go. It's a wee brownie. Uh, just a quick base update what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to fish a couple of weights. I've got a March Brown and I've on this here, this is just a, a blue dun quill. There's just a wet, both wet flies. Uh, things have been, to say quiet, it's an understatement. Very quiet. Plenty of fly around, just no fish rising. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through the pool with some weights and see what happens. Both are size, these are size 12s, give the impression of the March Brown, Olives and the Granum it's there as well. So I'm just going to just lightly fish it quite close and uh, see how we go. Not too far out, just, just a wee run here. We can fish it upstream, but I'm going to fish it across. It's basically I like to fish it across and let it naturally run down. And then just bring it towards me. Just watch the tip of the line. Just watch it. You can fish upstream, but... Oh, 
a wee touch there, I missed it. I mean, basically what you're doing is letting it sort of naturally flow with the the run of the pool, the run of the water, just let it naturally run down. And then you can let it drop, keep lift the rod quite high. But basically just keep stream, keep the rod quite high, watch the tip of the rod, or watch, uh, sorry, the tip of the line. Oh God. And then just, just let it run, come down with the flow of the river. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to quickly run through. Oh, uh, missed that one. I nice, took the dropper. Missed it. I'm getting bumps all the time from the wee par. Oh, she is. We're in the path of the granum the now. You can see. <laughs> The clouds and it's like that when I push the big stone here. Don't need dunce. Gonna spear cast it out. Well, folks, I've uh, walked a good mile down the river. I fished dries mainly all the way up. Hardly, to be honest, we hardly saw a fish move. There's one or two here, but they're up just like one or so, uh, I'm going to try and give them a go. I've fished wets, but the problem with wets, um, there's a fish just here. There's a lot of par in the river, and uh, the wets are just hitting too many par. As you can see, the granum, I mean, there's plenty of fly life. It's in the, I mean, tons of fly life. But there's not much on the river. There's not even, there's usually olives and that's browns or so coming off. We've seen one or two, but not any numbers that would basically bring a decent fish up. So I've been watching for the last quarter of an hour or so, and hoping there was a fish rising here at one point, but it's, it's not come back up since I came down. It's kind of the other, mainly on the other side there. There's a one here, but I think it could be a small, could be a, Maybe a small brown trout. Uh, just a decent fish. I've got the granum on, so there's fish across there, but again, it could be just a wee par. There's no there's not really a back cast here, but it's could always work around it. Nothing up here hardly. Or nothing, really. <laughs> But you can see the fly, I mean I wanted to let you see the, the granum. There's that fish up again. I may give you that a go, see what it is. Uh, there's tons of these, the granum. It's quite deep here. It's a problem about this pool. You, four feet for the bank, you could be four or five feet deep. And uh, you've got no back cast. I'll manage it, but we'll see if we can do it. 
straight across that fish. Okay, I'll lift. Just down a wee bit where I could get, I could actually get out a couple of foot more and uh, cover this fish, it's, it's rising. It's, there's a I've got one rising down here, just the right of me, every so often. I've got this one here rising, just not all the time. I do see the odd fly in the water though. See if we can catch it. I mean, it looks, it looks like a brown trout. They say there's a lot of par in the river, so I'll try to keep out of the, the way of them. Uh, but we'll see how it goes, we'll try and... At least we're covering an odd fish that's rising, so... Down further up there... I'm going to work my way down to this other fish. The birds are singing alright. So I'm just going to work my way down. Just take my time. You can see the, the granum. That's what I wanted to come down and let you see, because I talked about the granum hatch we get at the beginning of the season. Well, in this time of the year anyway. It's, it's good to get them. I mean, the fish obviously feed on them. Oops, it's getting deep. I'll let you come in. Oop. Try not make too much splashing. Hard when you're the bottom's so uneven. There's rocks and there's branches. Everyone just below the surface here. Okay, we'll just let the water settle first. Oh, there she goes. Right. First thing I want to do is dry my fly. I just basically cast it up and do it. I don't have a back cast. I've got to kind of flick it out, use the wind. There we are, it's turned over really well. Just allow it to match the drift towards it. There we go. Ah, just a nice fish. It was worthwhile going down. A brown trout. How you looks it? It's kind of up to sell a bit on an island, but anyway, oh, it's a nice fish. Look at that, it's a lovely fish. Hopefully, you can see that. Gosh, there's. There you go. Wow, that's a. Lovely fish. A good pound in that one. So, oh, in a way, brilliant. Finally, a fish. As folks, you can see the granum. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> the fish rose just below me. So, I'll try and cast through this. Poor. We've got back cast. We'll cast down to him. Ah, uh, just a wee par. I think that was just a wee par anyway. Hmm. 
there's my level there. There we go. There we go. Push. A little brownie. She went to go. There you go, nice wee fish. It's a splasher. I'll let them settle. Try anyway. There you go. Yeah, I'm fishing barbless. These are. These. Jesus. These hooks. There we go, beautiful wee brown trout. Well, I actually thought I was not going to catch any fish today, the way things were going. And uh, to get two nice wee brown trout, or one, one decent brown trout. Good size fish. See there, there. It's kind of quiet down over here. Still plenty of, of granum, but there's not just as many there. There's more coming. Well, I'm going to work my way back up. And hopefully maybe see another one or two fish rising. Well, there we are, folks. It's, uh, it's been. I've enjoyed the day. Like I've enjoyed a couple of hours or so. It's been hard going. There's just very few fish. There's no the none of the the actual flies I would like to see on the water. To be honest with you, some olives, uh, maybe some March browns. I've seen one or two, but not. There was no hatch. Uh, the granum's there, but the plenty of granum. This fish are no, uh, no showing. I mean, there's a lot of par, I couldn't fish weights. I did try the weights, but I don't want to hook par. There's always hundreds of par in the water. Every cast I was getting a bump. So I took them off. So. Just searched one or two fish down there, got them. At least landed two out of three, so it was good. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Just quickly on through there with the dry, just to see if I could maybe bring something up. But no. So anyway, I hope it's, it's been good fun. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll try and keep the video short. <laughs> It's very easy to let the, the camera run and run, but it's really nice. You can hear the birds singing. Uh, the fly that caught the fish, I'll show you, is this one, the granum. 
so it's been a good flight. We got a couple of nice brownies. So there we are. Well, that's us for another day on the river. And as I say, this is the river here. We're up at Oswald Bridge. It's a lovely bridge, as you can see. Lovely old bridge. And the leaves are starting to come in the trees. You can see the granum still coming up. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, let's see, I've got one lovely brown trout on the dry, so it's good fun. So thanks for watching. Until next time.